How to use content calendar in monday.com Hey everyone and welcome, I hope you're all doing great. In this video I'll be talking about, generally speaking, content calendar and monday.com, how to go about it, how to use it, how to manage it, and everything in between. So, once you start with monday.com, you can just go ahead and start by creating uh, your first board. And basically, you can just go ahead and start from scratch or add uh, a, a board from a template. Now, there are templates for content calendars all around, but you can also start from scratch. And I believe I will show you both. So if you just go to templates here, for example, uh, let's just look up content calendar. Maybe it's actually available. And yes, it is. We can just click on use this template and it's just going to create it for us uh, by itself. So as we can see here, we have our calendar here. They have give us some uh, some uh, options here, like three different groups, which is draft campaigns, uh, live campaigns, and then we have completed and paused. So those are called groups. Each one is actually a group, and you can actually go ahead and uh, set up a few things about the group if you would like. But then we have uh, the actual tasks or properties within the uh, items i mean within the actual uh, group here so start here campaign one campaign two campaign three and then we have some stuff like the actual owner of the campaign we have the channel we have the uh, campaign campaign brief campaign timeline uh, budget spent campaign status assets and link to campaign now if you would like you can remove anything from here or add anything from here. For example, we don't want the assets part. So we can just go ahead and delete it. And it's going to be completely removed from that space. If you want to add something, you can just go, go ahead and click on add column on the right side. And you will need to, you will need to specify what uh, type of input it is. So whether it's going to be numbers, text, uh, timeline, date, link, um, emails it really depends on what you want so just go ahead and look up exactly what you want and you will have it so for example if it's a date you can do that and you will find date timeline and so on if it's text sorry we can just go ahead i can't type today but you can just have some normal text and so on if it's money then you would want to have numbers so this is pretty much how it's going to work uh if you want to add this uh, or we can just completely start from scratch and create our own content calendar. So we can just click on start from scratch. Which, to be honest, is actually fairly simple. It's not to be like, it's not too complicated to start from scratch. Not at all. So let me just go ahead and create a group. I'm just going to name them group one, group two. And then we would want to have, well, a group three. Uh, if you want to change the color of a group, you can just click on it and change it from here. So it's completely up to you. Now we have person, we have status, we have dates. We can just go ahead and add more. Something else that we would want to use is timeline. Uh, maybe another thing would be um, numbers. And yeah, we can just stick with this. So go ahead, add your... Um, columns that you need and then go ahead and add items to each group so let's just do for example a script uh, writing um we can just create another one one more so let's just do uh video editing for example and now basically we would want to set up the actual columns accordingly i'm just going to remove numbers because we don't really need it uh, and now we'll be adding the calendar and everything is just going to work uh, proper. So person for the time being means uh, for me at least is that you assign it to a specific person. So we can just go ahead and assign them to a specific person. And then we have dates, which we can rename and make it due date. Timeline, we're just going to leave it as timeline uh, and we can set up a few dates here. So we can just set up due dates uh on friday uh, let's just put it in front so monday and then we would want to have this as tuesday this is going to be working on it and then here we have more stuff like uh uh monday and then another monday and then here's going to be 
uh wednesday and uh wednesday okay so just set up your due dates set up the actual status of the thing so if you want to do that because it's going to like make it look proper uh there you go so now we have this and we can just set up a few things more if you want just add your list and so on but what we can do now and actually to make it a proper uh, content calendar is to add a view on the top here and click on calendar and now we should have a calendar view with everything or all the elements that we added and that specific date so we can just go ahead and see here we have item two item five uh, and item four item three script writing video editing and so on because we already had it from here so because we have the due dates set up it's going to show if you don't have any dates set up any specific item it's not going to show at all within the calendar view but i also want to highlight something else it's not only due dates that is going to work let's say script writing is not a due date instead it's a timeline so it starts from friday until next friday for example and we can just go ahead and um check this so yeah it's going to be from friday till next friday and if we go to calendar view it actually should show you uh with the proper timeline now instead of the actual view which was due dates only so script writing you can see that it is going through from friday till next friday and also we can just go ahead and set up our uh, default view whether you want it to be weekly whether you want it to be daily uh, or monthly and then you can just go to next month next month and so on now you can also add your very own uh, items to your content calendar by just clicking on any date that you want to add an item to for example let's just do um, this uh, thursday here just click on add and you can just go ahead and add an item so we can just do task uh, example and we would want to uh, set up a few things for example group is going to be in group three a uh, person is going to be assigned to me if you have uh, other members it's going to also show their names here if you don't if you want to invite them you can invite them here uh, by clicking on this uh, button here and then we would want to set up the status as for example stuck and the date is going to be the date that you already clicked on if you want it to be a timeline instead go ahead and set it up it's completely up to you but i'm just going to leave it as is and unfortunately i just clicked off so i will need to redo that again task example group three person myself status is going to be stuck and the date is the same and then we're just going to click on create item is going to be down here automatically uh, and in here you can actually see it as well in the main table now lastly you can just go like i said just keep adding columns that you actually require assign them to people and all of those things but one more thing or one last thing is that um to make the most out of the calendar view is that you can actually go to the integrate button on the on the top here and we can just go ahead and look up calendar and you can see that you can actually integrate with google calendar or outlook calendar meaning if you create any task within monday.com and you set a due date to it or timeline is actually going to show up in your personal google calendar which is actually a great future so go ahead set them up if you would if you, if you would like to do that and basically this is pretty much how to use a content calendar in uh, monday.com it's very simple and straightforward you have your columns you have everything that you need and also you can add more views for example if you're um and and like you you prefer the kanban view you can simply just go for it and you can see already that we have the kanban view you can just go ahead and move items to stuck for example or done if that's what is happening and you have more than just one view as well so with that being said hopefully you found this video to be helpful um i hope you liked it and thanks for watching